I just wanted to say a couple of words about what I think about Bernie Sanders. Um, so today's Bernie's 79th birthday, and uh, and we we did this birthday special for him here at TYT, and and Joe Biden was nice enough to send him a nice birthday message. Nina Turner was nice enough to join us, and Brianna Wu and Ben Dixon, and Emma Viglin, and and Bernie himself in a lot of ways, as we showed you his videos all the way from the beginning of his career all the way to now, uh, and. But from my point of view, you know, I've been asked this question actually a thousand times because a lot of folks in, in the rest of the media genuinely don't get it. They're like, he, he's not the slickest politician. He is sometimes acerbic. And what is it that you guys love about Bernie? Uh, whether it's us at TYT or obviously us as a proxy for the progressive movement. And, and if you're a progressive, it's not that complicated to you, but it's important for us to tell others. And, and so the two most important things are consistency and policy. So Bernie Sanders, as we showed to you today for two and a half hours, the guy has never wavered. Uh, in that famous clip uh, where he's yelling about policy in Congress when he was in the House in the early 1990s, he yelled out, no, I will not yield. And that really could have been the slogan for his entire career. Uh, he lost four times, uh, never getting above 6% of the vote um, when he first ran for office. Almost gave up, but ran for mayor of Burlington, won by 10 votes at the age of 39. Made it into Congress of, uh, around his 49th birthday. Uh, and, and then he lost uh, you know, a couple more elections, <laughs> and he just kept on going. And so all throughout, he had the same message, income inequality. Uh, Corporations taking over our government. These are not new things. He, it, it started happening in the late 1970s. Bernie noticed it immediately and he pounded that message and he was right about it. He was prescient about it from the get go, from uh, the 80s to the 90s, all the way to now. The corporate takeover of our government is real, it's done through campaign contributions, it is bribery out in the open. Uh, that almost all the politicians participate in. He has had the courage to call it what it is. Um, and, and that leads to the second issue, which is policy. And I know they just can't believe it. The cynics and the skeptical people that are both in politics and in the media in Washington, they just can't believe that anyone is genuine and actually cares about policy. Well, he does, he's proved it a thousand times. That is why Bernie Sanders didn't pick the progressive movement. The progressive movement picked Bernie Sanders. We could have gone with anybody in 2016. Why not Martin O'Malley? He was younger, he was more telegenic. He, you could argue that he, he gave better speeches and he was certainly well prepared. His consultants told him when to take off his jacket in the debate and when to roll up his sleeves and he did it. But we could tell that he was trained by the consultants. And he didn't have Bernie's track record and his consistency and his principles and his honesty and his policies. So if you're looking forward to the future and trying to figure out who progressives are gonna back next, if you're looking for shiny objects, you're looking in the wrong place. We're looking for policy and whoever is going to champion it without any fear and who will not yield. And Look, I'm gonna add a third thing that I think all of us feel in our bones. And it's unfortunate, and, and a lot of the media doesn't like to say it because they're friends with the politicians and they need access to the politicians. But the reality is most of us don't like politicians. <laughs> and the polling shows that overwhelmingly. Why don't we like politicians? Because we think they're fake. But Bernie Sanders, was like Diogenes. I mean, we were looking for the one honest man, and he was the one honest man. I mean, you might agree with him, you might disagree with him, but nobody thinks he's BSing. Does anybody think that guy is fake? Nobody thinks that. He has been and continues to be super honest, and that is an incredible rarity in politics. So if we can find one more person like that who is honest to their core, who's gonna stay true and principled and who does those policies we care so much about. Getting money out of politics, Medicare for all, uh, Green New Deal, college for all, criminal justice reform, 
uh, getting out of the endless wars and the list goes on. Higher wages. Well, then we found uh, the next Bernie Sanders. But for now, the great news is Bernie Sanders is still in the Senate and we still have him. And he's still our leader holding up that lantern in the darkness. So Bernie, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for providing that light for so long through the darkness and for being our beacon. Happy birthday. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.